Good morning and welcome to the 2023-2024 Middle School Award Ceremony. This year has been a time of growth, of transition, and of community. We have relied on each other, overcome challenges, and celebrated victories. We have visited camps and historic sites on our class trips. We have had discussions and laughs in advisory. We have competed in fierce, red versus blue challenges. Most of all, you have challenged each other to learn more and to do more. As this school year comes to a close, I am reminded of a B.B. King quote, the beautiful thing about learning is that no one can take it away from you. You have become experts in growing and in learning new things. Thank you for making this year one to remember. At this time, we will recognize a few groups of our students who have participated in extracurricular activities this school year. If you were a member of an athletic team of the O'Neill School, please stand. You may be seated. If you were a member of this year's Science Olympiad team, please stand. You may be seated. If you were a member of this year's Student Forum, please stand. You may be seated. If you participated in James and the Giant Peach, please stand. You may be seated. If you participated in one of the coffee house performances, please stand. If you participated in 33 Little Pigs and participated in the competition at FezFest, please stand. If you are a member of the International Thespian Society, please stand. You may be seated. If you participated in Battle of the Books, please stand. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you have done great things this year, and we are able to celebrate just a few of those today. As we move into our middle school award individual award ceremony, I ask all of you students to listen to the presenters you will hear, to celebrate with your classmates, and to set future goals that you can aspire to accomplish. As your classmates come to the stage to receive their award, they'll take a brief pause so that Mrs. Taylor may take a photograph before returning to their seats. We also want to remember that this is a ceremony where we are able to celebrate achievements, where we are able to join in well wishes of our classmates, and where we are able to reflect and look back on the year that we have had together. So I hope that our time here together can show the seriousness of what we are doing today and that we can celebrate together. At this time, I invite Mrs. Worley to come and give our English award. In a pool of endlessly talented students at the middle school, this student demonstrated great dedication and passion for English this year. Through subtle and, though subtle and reserved, she chose when to bring her insightful ideas to class conversations. And her reading responses chose to analyze novels critically and from a unique perspective rather than giving an obvious answer. 
Her compositions all year are evidence of her ability to communicate complicated ideas thoughtfully, often making skillful and creative choices outside of given parameters while drafting. Her aspiration to hone her writing ability above and beyond the standard has earned her this year's Middle School English Award. Congratulations, Isabella Plunkett. On behalf of Mrs. Elmore, I would like to share her thoughts and selection of this year's Math Departmental Award. This year's Math Award goes to someone who has shown amazing curiosity, work ethic, and ability to connect concepts. This person has been exceptional in demonstrating mastery of all the material and can apply it to much more complicated problems. This person shows a nuanced understanding and asks questions that show a connection to the material and outside knowledge. This person has never had a bad day in math, never must have understood a concept, and is quite the opposite. This person shows a high level of understanding and approaches the math like a true mathematician with a curiosity and an excitement. I am proud to present this math award to Harrison O'Connor. Morning. This year's middle school science award goes to a student who has been an inspiration to me and to all of his eight grade classmates. This student is always ready for new challenge and his thirst for knowledge is inspiring to others. It doesn't matter if it's a science class or science olympiad, this student is always ready to be challenged. He always asks questions to ensure deeper understanding. He is organized, ready for class, ready for life, ready to learn and ready to help. His authentic interest, motivation to learn, and the mastery of new ideas is unmatched. It is my pleasure and honor to present this year's Middle School Science Department Award to the most deserving person, Harrison O'Connor. This student has displayed a true passion for American history throughout this school year, especially planes and other technology. I have consistently been impressed with his work ethic, his knowledge of historical topics, and his willingness to share this information with his peers. This year's Middle School History Award goes to Mason Wicks. The recipient of this year's Middle School World Language Award is magnificent. He ranks among the very top students I've had the privilege of teaching over a span of more than 30 years. He loves learning and walks into class each day with understated wit, humility and academic excellence. His work reveals remarkable attention to detail and accuracy, an outstanding grasp of the mechanics of French and a determination to learn and grow in his mastery far beyond what is required for a superior grade. While students do have set thematic vocabulary lists they must master, I also note on the board a running bank of idioms of vocabulary that I urge them to come up with in conversation, such as to sleep late. I encourage them to take note of such idioms and to choose to weave them into their conversation and written work so as to lend more authenticity to their communication. I've been so impressed not only by this student's purposeful use of these supplementary terms, but also by how much he loves enjoy and enjoys doing so. In fact, at a time when so many students learn what they must for the sought-after A grade, it is clear that this student delights in learning 
assumes the responsibility for his own progress, and prepares outside of class at a level I have rarely before experienced. In addition to his mature grasp of the mechanics of the language, he connects with the beauty of French, revealed in an unusual ease with the spoken word and a beautifully emerging French accent. His recent recitation of the poem Déjeuner du matin by Jacques Prévert was a thing of beauty. This student enriches the classroom experience for all by bringing to the academic setting superior mastery, purposeful enthusiasm and respect for his peers. He is hungry to learn and jumps up to grasp onto every challenge and each piece of information and uses them as a springboard to higher learning. And so for his remarkable devotion to French beyond academic excellence, I'm so honored to present the 2024 Middle School World Language Department Award to Harrison O'Connor. They say that there is a rise of the creative class, a class that will guide us to reimagine our current society and lead us into new ways of being, seeing, doing. This new and emergent class is made up of three subsets. The super creative core, such as scientists, engineers, IT workers, researchers, artists, designers, and media workers. The second subset is the creative professionals, classic knowledge seekers. And that would be the workers that draw upon complex bodies of knowledge to solve problems. And lastly, I think a lot of artists are known as being the bohemians, who choose to set their own path, live independently, and be free-spirited ones. This year's middle school arts recipient embraces all three of these class subsets, definitely a part of the creative class, and we cannot wait to watch her rise. It is my honor to not to talk to welcome to the stage Hannah Wilcox, this year's Fine Arts Award winner. This, this year's Middle School Headmasters Gallery Award ce celebrates an exceptional student whose dedication to art extends far beyond the confines of assigned projects. With an insatiable passion for creative expression, she not only excels in completing tasks with enthusiasm, but also continues to explore and innovate beyond the requirements. The proficiency of watercolor techniques evident in the piece that was chosen is enchanting and depth worthy, fluidity abounds, displaying her evolving skill and artistic sensibility. Her autobiographical piece, intricately woven with personal numbers inspired by the style of the artist Charles Demuth, stands as a testament to her reflective nature and the connection she makes between art and identity. As we honor the achievement of this year's Middle School Headmasters Art Gallery Award, I'd like to invite Addie, where are you, Touch, up to the stage. Citizenship awards are given at the faculty's discretion to those students who have exemplified outstanding citizenship throughout the year. This year's grade five recipient is Madison LePage.
This year's grade six recipient is Abigail Shoup. This year's seventh grade recipient is Marley Pace. And this year's eighth grade recipient is Sophie Chalker. The O'Neill Award is presented to one student in each grade who demonstrates hard work and determination in pursuit of classroom excellence. Our fifth grade recipient is King Martin. Our grade six O'Neill Award recipient is Lainey Murphy. Our grade seven O'Neill Award recipient is Ella Vonderkall. And our grade eight O'Neill Award recipient is Siri Manava. Good morning. The J. Gardner Dot Award is presented to the one student who exemplifies the qualities of hard work, steadfastness, and perseverance in the pursuit of scholastic achievement. This year's winner is Harrison O'Connor. James R. Miles was better known as Jim Miles. He was here at the beginning of the, when O'Neill began back in the 1970s and spent uh, close to 40 years here working uh, primarily as the head of the lower school. Uh, the James R. Miles Award is presented to the student who best displays qualities of determination, 
unselfishness, cooperation, enthusiasm, and involvement in daily school life. This person uh, should show great, to this person we show great respect and affection. This year's winner is Hannah Wilcox. Previously announced, we would like to celebrate as a student body. The Helen Pringle Holmberg Scholarship is given to the Holmberg family in honor of their daughter, a member of the class of 1997, and the O'Neill School's first John Motley Moorhead Scholarship recipient. This scholarship holds eligibility requirements similar to those of the Moorhead, focusing on leadership, scholarship, moral force of character, and physical vigor. Nominees are selected from all rising ninth graders who have completed at least two semesters at the O'Neill School and have earned a cumulative academic average of an A minus or above. This year's recipient of the Helen Pringle Holmberg Scholarship is Vivian Rue. We'd like to thank our parents and guests that joined us this morning to celebrate our 2024 middle school closing and award ceremony. At this time, we would like to dismiss our middle school students back to the middle school. If you have folks that are here that you wish to spend some time with, you're welcome to stay. But at this time, we are going to ask our eighth graders to stand and lead us out. 